Hello, in this video we are going to import spreadsheets in QGIS. In the dataset you can find two spreadsheets. If we click right in the browser we can open the spreadsheet in an external program. Here we see that this spreadsheet has uh, station numbers of meteorological stations, a date of data collection and the temperature. The other spreadsheet has the station numbers, so that's what they have in common and longitude and latitude coordinates. This means that this spreadsheet can be put on the map, that these are points. It also has an altitude and the name of the meteorological station. There are several ways to import tabular data. If you have CSV files, comma delimited text, you can use the delimited text importer. For spreadsheets, however, we can use the spreadsheet layers plugin. You can install it through the Plugins Manager and then under Layer, Add Layer, you can find Add Spreadsheet Layer. Browse to the file and we start with the stations because they have coordinates. We see a preview and we can change the name of the layer that is imported and we will call this KNMI Stations table. It has a geometry with longitude and latitude coordinates. The first column is integer and latitude longitude are reals, altitude is real and name is a string. And we need to change the projection. If it's longitude latitude coordinates we choose EPSG 4326. And here we see our points in the map canvas. Now let's import the other spreadsheet. The other spreadsheet has the temperatures. Here we see the preview. Let's change the name to KNMI temperatures table. It has no geometry, so we don't check that box. We change the station numbers to integer and we keep the rest as it is. So here we see from the icon that this is a table with no geometries. Now you can see that this is a virtual file. In order to use it in GIS, it's better to convert it to a GIS format. Convert it to a shapefile. And I call it KNMI Stations. You can change the output projection to the one that we use in the Netherlands, because these are meteorological stations in the Netherlands and therefore we use EPSG 28992. We click OK, it asks for a transformation, we keep the default. Now we can see that the icons are different. The one with the shapefile has a clear uh, dot and if we hover our mouse over it, it gives the file name. So make sure you remove uh, the imported one and not the shapefile. Now I also change the projection of the project, the on-the-fly reprojection, to the Dutch projection. Finally, we need to check if the points are in the correct location by adding a base map. And here we see that all the points end up in the Netherlands. So in this video you have learned how to import spreadsheets into QGIS. Spreadsheets with and without geometry.